Hello guys, Windows 8 Fan 2012 here. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing how to sideload on Windows 8 and Apo 1. Now, my last guide was the first video I made on this channel, and it was very poorly paced and just wasn't good in general. This one is going to include everything instead of splitting it up in different videos. This will be showing you how to enable sideloading for one. It's going to show you how to install APPXs, and then also how to generate them with Windows Store back app backup. So, the things you're going to need. Um, make sure you have Visual Studio C++ Redistributable 2015, as um, you need that for Windows Store app backup. First off though, um, you're going to go to this link, it's going to be here. And you want to scroll down till you find um, Metro Unlocker and MiggsWSAPPXInstaller.exe. Now, Metro Unlocker is the app you will use for sideloading, and MiggsWSAPPXInstaller is going to be how you install the APPXs. Next up, you're going to go to the next link, which will also be in the description, and you're going to download this zip file, WSAPPBAK.zip. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and just close your browser and go open up File Explorer and go to Downloads. Once you do that, open up Metro Unlocker and wait for that to open. Now that you have side loading it Unlocker, you're going to go ahead and click on Unlocking. Um, you're going to click on Unlock and it will say Side Loading Activated. Now ignore the key stuff. If you've already activated side loading, then that won't show up. It should say Side Loading Disabled if you don't have it enabled. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and go through the guide to install it. Now, once you have an APPX, um, you might have one that's generated or you might have one that's just normal. Now, if you have one that doesn't have a .sir file or a bunch of other files like .pfx with them, um, do not install that just yet. I'll get to what you do with those files. As for anything that does have a .sir in it, what you're going to do is you're going to get the security certificate, open that, and you want to click on local machine and click on next and just go through. Once you do that, you want to place all certificates in Trusted Root Certification Authorities, click on Next, and Finish. You should see the import was successful, and if you don't, then you might be doing something wrong. Now, as for the APPX file, you're going to go ahead and drag that over the WSAPPX installer, click on Run, and wait for this to install. Now, I should mention, if you have any kind of issues that claim it's missing packages such as VC libs, WinJS, or some other stuff. All those dependencies I'll have linked in the description for you to download. Um, they are useful, you're going to need them to install some apps. If you don't get that, you should just get an installation succeeded, all done, press any key to end quick, which you just press any key. Once you do that, you can go to the start menu, as you can see here, our app has been installed in Cyclopedia Britannica. You can go ahead and click on that, and it should open, and sh just run. You might be a game, but it should hopefully run. Now, as for next, I'm going to show you what you do if you have an app that does not have a .sir linked to it, or a CER. If you have a app that is not linked to a certificate file, or just an APPX or APPX bundle, what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads, find Windows Store App Backup, and extract that with 7-zip or any kind of extract that you have. Now, with the APPX that you have, mine is an APPX bundle. Now, if you have an APPX bundle, you're going to want to specifically go to 7-zip, make sure you have 7-zip installed, extract files, and click on OK. Once you do that, you want to click on the folder, find, um, if you're on ARM, obviously you're going to go ARM, but you're probably on desktop, so you want to go to look for x86 or x64. Once you do that, you're going to click on extract files, go to that folder, and then go right click on the path and click copy address as text. Go to Downloads, go back to Windows Store App Backup, and click on that, and this should open up. When you have are asked to enter the app path, you want to go ahead and click on Edit and Paste. Paste it in. As for the output path, you can set this to anything, but I'm going to specifically set it to the output in the Windows Store App Backup folder. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and generate your, um, your APPX file. It might take a while depending on the size of the APPX, as some of them can be multiple gigabytes. Editing Jasper here, I completely forgot to mention that at the private key password, you can make a password or you can just select none. You have the option, or just two megabytes. As you can see here, it's now creating our certificate. Once you do that, as you see here, it says package signing succeeded. You can now close that. Go back to your certi security certificate here, and obviously do the exact same as I showed you earlier. Local machine, and then you can go trust the risk certification authorities, and finish. 
once you've done that, you can go ahead and get, I'm just going to go ahead to the example and just copy the MIGS WS at APPX install. And I'm going to go ahead and drag the APPX over and run that. You can see here, installation succeeded. You can quit, go back. You can find what installed, mine's VLC. I can go ahead and pin that now. I can resize the tile as usual. You now have to click on that and now it's opened. It works. I can see the videos, which obviously these are all failed recording attempts. And that should be it. Now that's basically all you need for doing this. You shouldn't need anything else. Um, if you do need more, comment down below, I might be able to help. If you get a this app cannot open error, then that usually means that the APPX you've installed is not signed. I mean, you need to generate that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial helps and see ya.